good. Okay, so now we can get into the shed. Hello guys and welcome to another Car Expose video. A little bit of a different video today. It's a video response to our friend Ian up in Canada. Let me show you his channel. There you go, the Gibi 3340. I hope I'm not butchering your name or your channel name, Ian. Time well wasted. So it's gonna be a video response to this video here. Five tools to up your automotive capabilities. So the whole idea is this difficult time to bring people together, a little bit of a positivity. In this video, he showed five diagnostic tools that upped his game in the diagnostic automotive world. As you know, I'm a bit of a, more of a nuts and bolts guy. Uh, I've been trying for about a year and a half to up my game in the diagnostic um, world. But I'll take the liberty to show not just my five uh, diagnostic tool. I'm gonna try to pick some different tools that he did, but also gonna show my five more mechanical, more hand tools, if you like, that helps me and helps me every day. I'll be showing you uh, the hand tools first, the mechanical tools first. So my first pick is going to be, it's going to be this 200 piece Halford set. Very handy indeed, especially for a guy like me that doesn't have a tool cart. So I'm normally working on the floor. So this becomes my cart in a way. So we have two spark plugs here. Sorry, two spark plug sockets. Uh, spanners from number eight millimeter to 19. A series of long sockets from 10 millimeter to not, uh, 30, 24. Some short sockets up to 32. Some imperial sizes there. Some more imperial sizes here, three eighths. And then a bunch of three eighths up to 24 from six millimeter to 24. And then uh, a bunch of bit sockets or socket bits. A flat head, some Phillips, some Allen, Torx. And then you have some sockets for your impact gun reverse torques, some extensions, some swivel, half inch ratchet, three eighths and a quarter, and a little three eighths uh, breaker bar. And then you have one quarter imperial sizes here, one quarter metric sizes from four to 14, some adapters, so you can change your, I don't know, three eighths to one quarter, for example and I've got all the four sizes here and then you have this basically driver screwdriver that you can put all the bits that you have some long one quarter sockets from number uh, four millimeter to nine and pretty much you have pretty much all the tools that you need to work on a car here if you're doing mobile work is excellent excellent normally when i do mobile work only you know, this is my first choice. Number two, some torque wrench. Pretty much, again, use every single day. Um, especially when I finish the car, working on the cars. It, my, my last thing that I do is torque up the wheels. So I've got this one here, which is a Halfords from 40 Newton meter to 200. Breaker bar, well, I mean, it's not a torque wrench, but I'm gonna put it in a, in a pile there. And then I have this one here, which is basically seven Newton meters to 112 Newton meters. So I need to get a bigger one, but uh, this is a three eighths Magnuson. All right, so that's my second pick I use every single day. My third pick, it's going to be those guys. Definitely not something that you need straight away, but regarding efficiency, this is like helped me a lot. Um, I haven't had it for long, probably, I don't know, maybe a year or less than a year, but can't live without it now. So a cordless ratchet, three eights, and a mid torque, both Milwaukee, awesome tools. My fourth pick, and this one. Again, I pretty much use this every single day. 
so this is a a brake brake caliper widening tool uh, i cleaned it up the other day because i don't use this set anymore but here you have all the adapters for dif different brake caliper pistons and the one i'm using at the moment is this one here let me put you guys on a tripod so this is a laser set that's what i use nowadays uh, reversible left and right so now it's set to push in when you turn to the right okay and then you can reverse it let's move your adapter and the little bar at the bottom now it pushes in when you go let me bring that back now it pushes in when you move to the left Another advantage is, is this plate here, because the plate is open sometimes when the caliper is pushed all the way out, the caliper piston is pushed all the way out. It's very difficult with the closed one, like this one here. It's really, sometimes it's difficult to, to put the tool in place. But with this open back plate, super easy. Another benefit, th this adapter here is universal, so you can move to adjust to different sizes that you need for the caliper piston and then if you need any other different sizes you have this one here which becomes that tool basically you can get any i mean like this one here never use this one and you can just you can use it with that adapter and most of the time i use with this one here which pushes the caliper the front calipers Normally, the front, front calipers you don't normally need to twist, so it's just push it in. Find it easy with this one, super compact. So, that is my fourth pick. Right, my fifth pick. What do I go for? I'm gonna go for these guys here. So, I picked these guys up recently and I'm really, really impressed with it. So, it's one quarter and three sixteenth brake line flaring tool. I've used it with the with the Toran. So if you've seen the Toran video, uh, this is what I've used. Super compact, super small. I, mean, I don't know if you can get the right perspective there, but super small to do jobs in place without having to bring it to the bench, you know, when you just need to replace a little bit of pipe. And um, yeah, you can do uh, both most common um, flares and um yeah i really really recommend this is a recommendation from leon budget and legit and I, I absolutely loved it i use about three times now great 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 piece of kit so this is my five more mechanical tools that are that i've used all the time or i'm impressed with right so my five tools for diagnostic side of things i'm gonna try to pick different than ian uh my first cho choice is probably the scope on the rope test light i use this thing all the time you know i can't live without it I pretty much use in every pretty much every diagnostic now super handy now my second one i really needed for uh for the course uh, uh that I had a problem with ECU. So burning the fuses all the time. I, I, I can't even remember how many fuses I wasted in that car. And this is a laser set again, 7386. So you have resettable fuses up to 28 volts from, you have standard fuses and mini from five amps to 30 and some fuse bodies. So it's a kind of like two in one really. You know, and um, if you have an issue, you can put your amp, amp clamp around it, and then if blow the fuses, you know what the draw is. Super hand tool. To be honest, I haven't had the time, I haven't had the opportunity to use it yet, but it's gonna come really, really handy. I'm really happy that I, I've got this now. It would be super handy with the Corsa. Right, so my third choice, what it's going to be, I think it's going to be this amp hound. I actually used it the other day on a Honda with the Parasitic draw, so the battery was uh, 
after a day couldn't start the car anymore and it came super handy so this is up, up out here so you can basically go through the fuses to find your circuit that's drawing without removing the fuse so you put it on there you can change for the fuse type so mini standard and maxi and then change the value here as well so you can just go over the the fuses without removing it just in case you wake up some some of the modules and mess around with your measurements super handy i did a honda the other day uh Bragel issue after marks of Bragel. that came really handy super cheap and happy with it let me turn it off press the two press the two buttons again off my fourth choice would be a multimeter very very handy indeed so i've got this unit t ut61a served me well so far i've used a ton but with the new technology and the cars changing all the time faster signals and etc you're probably gonna at some point need the oscilloscope i do have a, a pico here i've got the amp clamps and a, a bunch of stuff super expensive but i want to suggest something from our friend mechanic matt there is a, a scope from Huntec. let me show you here super super handy and it's basically a let me let me get it here right there you go that's the hand tech 2d h2 so it's a three in one is is the oscilloscope oscilloscope multimeter and signal generator all in one if i'm not mistaken so if i was going to buy a multimeter today i would probably I would probably get that Huntec Automotive Oscilloscope really really handy indeed not that expensive probably around I don't know between 120 150 pounds something like this great choice mechanic Matt check him out fifth and last sort of tool I would say this breakout leads I pretty much use every day you know every time I diagnose it diagnosing a car you have all the major four sizes here it allows you to have a, like a good connection when diagnosing components and sensors and stuff like that without having to sort of like you know probe some stuff with your hand so super handy not that expensive and i pretty much use it every time i'm diagnosing your car so there you go that was my 10 well five mechanical tools and five more diagnostic tools that I've chosen. Uh, I try to choose something different a year. Uh, like I said, guys, just to, to get the community together, um, just bring a little bit of positivity. Uh, so this is a video response for Ian. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm a more mechanical guy, you know, nuts and bolts, and I've been trying to improve my diagnostic skills in the last year and a half. Invested a, a bunch of uh, time and money this year on tools diagnostic tools trying to improve all the time and please check Ian's channel the Gibby 3340 to see what five tools he has chosen to improve his diagnostic uh, capabilities mechanic mat so mat mechanic mat uh, check out that multimeter if I was going to buy a new, a new multimeter today I would, would definitely get that hand tech and also I like to suggest another channel grumpy's workshop Mike in Canada as well he has been working really hard to get his goals this year and I'm sure he'll get it uh, not so so much automotive but if you uh, if you're a practical guy like woodwork woodwork stuff and um, he does a lot of uh, tinkering around his camp all sorts of jobs so yeah I would like to uh, recommend it that so check Mike Grumpy's workshop and finally I've got quite a few buddies here on YouTube and if you'd like to make a video about your five tools that would be really really cool if you haven't got a channel please leave your five tools in the comments below like I said guys just a little bit of fun a little bit of positivity so it's your turn
Cheers.